In the past years, Egypt has only been providing intelligence to the international coalition against ISIL. Fighting these Islamic groups has been a priority for both Trump and El Sisi. This week, both presidents will be looking into how to increase their cooperation in that file. Obama didn't want to rely more on Egypt, but Trump always saw a role for President El Sisi in facing ISIL. ISIL is the main focus of the talks between El Sisi and Trump. We know that Donald Trump intends to approach this issue by increasing operations in Syria, Iraq, Libya, Yemen and other regions in the world. He's also been wanting to engage more partners in the Middle East on top of which Saudi Arabia and Egypt. Egypt has been fighting militant insurgencies in the Sinai and on its western border with Libya for years, so it has a significant experience in on-ground military engagement. Cairo has also infiltrated many terrorist groups in Syria and Iraq, following some of its citizens who've risen as leaders in the likes of Jabhat al-Nusra, al-Qaeda and ISIL, giving it some intelligence advantages. Getting el-Sisi's full commitment is essential for Trump. Trump, in return, has to offer El Sisi more logistical support, more military cooperation, and sharing more intelligence. He has to enhance Egypt's technological equipment to help the country face such organizations and prevent more groups to join it. Overall, ISIL is a very important and necessary issue for the U.S.-Egyptian relations. After years of row ties with Obama, Egypt wants to please the Trump administration. That may lead El Sisi to review his foreign policies towards Syria or Iraq. Deepening cooperation could have some drawbacks. Egypt could get more involved in fighting terrorism. This could lead to a more dangerous stage, where Trump asks Egypt to provide troops. And this is a huge red line for Egypt. Will Egypt accept or not? That will depend on what Trump has to offer. The price for Trump to convince El Sisi will be dear. Egypt has spent years and billions of dollars in arms deals to revive its friendship with Eastern powers like Russia. So if it is to get involved in Iraq or Syria, it could clash with these newly formed allies. And that could limit their scope of cooperation to fight ISIL in the entire region. Adel Mahroui, CGTN, Cairo. Let's return to Yasser now. He's still with us uh, from uh, Cairo. Yasser, President El Sisi's visit there to the United States. The fight against ISIL is expected to dominate talks there between uh, the two presidents of Egypt and the U.S. What specific areas is Egypt likely to be seeking support? Well, in this situation, you have to go back to the Obama administration. Uh, and we know that according to the peace deal uh, in the 1970s uh, with Israel, uh, Egypt is allowed every year a, a bulk of, uh, of U.S. military aid. And the Obama administration has delayed this aid a few times and also has delayed purchase of a very important uh, uh, equipment and military uh, uh, equipment uh, for Egypt to fight uh, ISIL and terrorist groups. And this has angered Egypt, and that's why it turned to Russia during the Obama administration and was closer to Russia. Now, what Egypt will open up, of course, with Trump is a, a new phase, uh, hoping that uh, he would provide the promised uh, aid that is uh, around $1.5 billion, the military aid, and also the equipment and, exper and expertise, the latest uh, uh, advanced equipment and uh, intelligence support to fight uh, the terrorist groups uh, in northern Sinai, in the borders of northern Sinai, uh, and, and uh, this will be essential in the talks. Uh, obviously, uh, working together on logistical support also and, and intelligence and cooperation in Libya. Neighboring Libya, obviously, has been fighting ISIL as well, which had been surged uh, in Libya, and the, the uh, militia, militias there, which has been infiltrating uh, to Egypt before, not so much now because of the, uh, uh, the, the military support Egypt is having on its western borders. But uh, this will also be an issue to discuss between both sides, and Egypt will be asking for uh, the support from the U.S. or at least working together on fighting uh, ISIL in Libya and on the terrorist groups in Egypt. And you have mentioned, Yasser, that Egypt is hoping for a new face in U.S.-Egyptian uh, relations there. So what other issues are likely to feature with regards to bilateral ties between Egypt and the U.S.? 
of course, away from the fight of terrorism, there's uh, the, the issue of the uh, Muslim Brotherhood, which is outlawed uh, and considered a terrorist group in Egypt. And uh, it, it will be discussed in the talks that uh, maybe the U.S. would also out, uh, consider uh, the Muslim Brotherhood a terrorist organization as well. You've got uh, a very important issue is the, the, the economic and business relations. Uh, the U.S. is a big investor in Egypt. Uh, if not one of the biggest at 20, over $25 uh, billion. Uh, these investments have dropped in the last few years and Egypt is trying to revive the investments, uh, uh, the American investments in the country, in the North African country, as well as opening the U.S. market to Egyptian exports, agricultural products, textiles, clothes, cotton. Uh, Egypt will try to also work on uh, trying to promote its own uh, exports uh, to the U.S. So th those two issues are, are also very important for Egypt to discuss in its talks. It's not going to only be discussed with Trump, but also the Egyptian president will be sitting with uh, heads, uh, CEOs of different American companies to uh, showcase uh, Egypt's uh, facilities to invest here in Cairo. All right, uh, Yasser Hakim, wrapping that up for us there from Cairo.